In linguistic typology, a null subject language is a language whose grammar permits an independent clause to lack an explicit subject. Such a clause is then said to have a null subject. Typically, null subject languages express person, number, and, or gender agreement with the referent on the verb, rendering a subject noun phrase redundant. In the principles and parameters framework, the null subject is controlled by the predrop parameter, which is either on or off for a particular language. For example, in Italian the subject, she, can be either explicit or implicit. Maria non vu el mangia, lit. Maria not wants eat, Maria does not want to eat. Non vu el mangia, lit. Subject not wants eat, does not want to eat. The subject, he, of the second sentence is only implied in Italian, English and French, on the other hand, require an explicit subject in this sentence. Of the thousands of languages in the world, a considerable number are null subject languages. From a wide diversity of unrelated language families, they include Albanian, Arabic, Basque, Berber, Catalan, Chinese, Estonian, Finnish, Greek, Hebrew. Hindi, Hungarian, Italian, Romanian, Japanese, Korean, Persian, Portuguese, Punjabi, Polish, Serbian and other Slavic languages, Spanish, Tamil and Turkish languages, as well as most languages related to these, and many others still. In fact it is rather non-prodrop that is an aerial feature of standard average European including French, German, and English. Characterization in the framework of government and binding theory of syntax, the term null subject refers to an empty category. The empty category in question is thought to behave like an ordinary pronoun with respect to anaphoric reference and other grammatical behavior. Hence it is most commonly referred to as pro. This phenomenon is similar, but not identical, to that of predrop languages, which may emit pronouns, including subject pronouns but also object pronouns. While all prodrop languages are null subject languages, not all null subject languages are prodrop. In null subject languages that have verb inflection in which the verb inflects for person, the grammatical person of the subject is reflected by the inflection of the verb and likewise for number and gender. Examples the following examples come from Portuguese. I'm going home can be translated either as vo para casa or as you vo para casa, where you means I. It's raining can be translated as esta chovenda or esta chova. In Portuguese, as in the other Romance languages, there is no exact equivalent for the pronoun it. However, some elder persons say ele esta chova, European Portuguese which directly Directly translates to, he is raining. I'm going home. I'm going to watch TV. Would not, except in exceptional circumstances, be translated as uvo para casa. Uvo ver televisão. At least the subject of the second sentence should be omitted in Portuguese unless one wishes to express emphasis, as to emphasize the I. Dot. As the examples illustrate, in many null subject languages, personal pronouns exist and can be used for emphasis but are dropped whenever they can be inferred from the context. Some sentences do not allow a subject in any form while, in other cases, an explicit subject without particular emphasis would sound awkward or unnatural. Most Bantu languages are null subject. For example, in Ganda, I'm going home, could be translated as nenzuanj or as nzadi nenzuanj, where nzadi means I. Latin Latin text, veni, vidi, vici. Literal translation, came, saw, conquered. Idiomatic translation, I came, I saw, I conquered. Latin text, cogito ergo sum. Literal translation, think, therefore am. Idiomatic translation, I think, therefore why am. Tamil Tamil script.
transliteration, mutant uvatar to literal translation, ended actual translation, it has come to an end. Hebrew Hebrew is considered a partially null subject language, as demonstrated by the following example, Hebrew text, transliteration, as olafirim, yur as ulkha literal translation, help others, will help you idiomatic translation, you help others, they will help you. Subjects can usually be omitted only when the verb is conjugated for grammatical person, as in the third person plural in the example above. Arabic Arabic is considered a null subject language, as demonstrated by the following example, Arabic text, transliteration, S-A-I-D, Garak, user Iduk, literal translation, help other, helps you. Idiomatic translation, you help another, he helps you. Japanese, Japanese and several other null subject languages are topic prominent languages. Some of these languages require an express topic in order for sentences to make sense. In Japanese, for example, it is possible to start a sentence with a topic marked by the particle wa, and in subsequent sentences leave the topic unstated, as it is understood stood to remain the same, until another one is either explicitly or implicitly introduced. For example, in the second sentence below, the subject is not expressed again but left implicit. In other cases, the topic can be changed without being explicitly stated, as in the following example, where the topic changes implicitly from today to I. Spanish in Spanish, as with Latin and most Romance languages, the subject is encoded in the verb conjugation. Pronoun use is not obligatory. The vamos la playa. We go to the beach. Eres mi amiga. You are my friend. No son. Soisb hanvenidosaki. You are not welcome here. Estan durmiendo. They are asleep. Necesito ayuda. I need help. Esta en su habitation. He is in his bedroom. Esta cansada. She is tired. Dot. In Spanish, for the most part one may choose whether to use the subject or not. Generally if a subject is provided, it is either for clarity or for emphasis. Sentences with a null subject are used more frequently than sentences with a subject. In some cases, it is even necessary to skip the subject to create a grammatically correct sentence. Catalan in Catalan, as in Spanish, Portuguese, Galician, etc. The subject is also encoded in the verb conjugation. Pronoun use is not obligatory. An emily plaja, we go to the beach. It is amiga, you are my friend. No son, su benvingatsaki, you are not welcome here. Estan dormant, they are asleep. Necesito ayuda, I need help. Esla habitatio, he is in his bedroom. Esta cansada, she is tired. Dot. In Catalan, one may choose whether to use the subject or not. If used in an inclined tone, it may be seen as an added emphasis. However, in colloquial speaking, usage of a pronoun is optional. Even so, sentences with a null subject are used more frequently than sentences with a subject. In some cases, it is even necessary to skip the subject to create a grammatically correct sentence. Emilian in Emilian at least one pronoun is mandatory. A and D E acute M in spiraia. We go to the beach. At shame mi amiga. You are my friend. A N C minga ben nu chat. You are not welcome here. You not are not welcome here. I N dread ermia. They are asleep. They are behind to sleep. I N dread ermia. Cats are asleep. They are behind to sleep. A G H O bison. Diajat. I need help. Elian D L A Sicambra. He is in his bedroom. He is in of the his bedroom. Elian D L A Sicambra. John is in his bedroom. He is in of the his bedroom. Ellie Stufa. She is tired. Chinese Most varieties of Chinese tend to be non-null subject. However, in certain circumstances, most Chinese varieties would remove the subjects, thus forming null subject sentences. One of the instances where the subject would be removed is when the subject is known. 
Below is an example in Mandarin. The above example clearly shows that a speaker could omit the subject if the doer of the verb is known. In a Chinese imperative sentence, like the first text, the subject is also left out. Bulgarian. Literal translation, came, saw, conquered. Idiomatic translation, I came, I saw, I conquered. Macedonian. Literal translation, came, saw, conquered. Idiomatic translation, I came, I saw, I conquered. Turkish geldem, gordem, yendem. Literal translation, I came, I saw, I conquered. Ben geldem, ben gordem, ben yendem. Idiomatic translation, I came, I saw, I conquered. Russian. Literal translation, came, saw, conquered. Idiomatic translation, I came, I saw, I conquered. Impersonal constructions. In some cases, a proposition has no referent at all. Prodrop languages deal naturally with these, whereas many non-prodrop languages such as English and French have to fill in the syntactic gap by inserting a dummy pronoun. Asterisk grains is not correct sentence, a dummy it has to be added, it rains, French il plenum. In most Romance languages, however, rains can be a sentence. Spanish louve, Italian piove, Catalan plu, Portuguese chove, Romanian plu, etc. Uralic and Slavic languages also show this trait. Finnish SATAA, Hungarian ESIK, Polish PADA. There are constructed languages that are not prodrop but do not require this syntactic gap to be filled. For example, in Esperanto, he made the cake would translate as Lee Farris le Kukon, but it rained yesterday would be Pluvis Hirao. Null subjects in non null subject languages. Other languages require each sentence to include a subject. This is the case for most Germanic languages, such as English and German, as well as many other languages. In some cases, colloquial expressions, particularly in English, less so in German and occasionally in French, allow for the omission of the subject in the same way that languages such as Spanish and Russian allow using correct grammar. Bumped into George this morning. Agreed to have a snifter to catch up on old times. Quote, told me what the two of you had been up to. Quote, went down to Brighton for the weekend. The imperative form. Even in such non-null subject languages as English, it is standard for clauses in the imperative mood to lack explicit subjects. For example, take a break. You're working too hard. Shut up. Don't listen to him. An explicit declaration of the pronoun in English in the imperative mood is possible, usually for emphasis but not necessary. You stay away. Don't you listen to him. French and German offer less flexibility with regards to null subjects. In French, it is neither grammatically correct nor possible to include the subject within the imperative form. In German, the informal form do may be added to the imperative in a colloquial manner for emphasis. The formal imperative requires the addition of the subjects e because the formal, addressee specific imperative form of a verb is morphological identical to the infinitive, which when used by itself belongs in final position and indicates a neutral or addressee non-specific imperative. Predrop in infants research shows that until around three years old, children often omit subjects. For example, drop bean, brushing my teeth, going to school, want an apple. Auxiliary languages. Many international auxiliary languages, while not officially pro-drop, permit pronoun omission with some regularity. Interlingua. In interlingua, pronoun omission is most common with the pronoun ill, which means it when referring to part of a sentence to nothing in particular. Examples of this word include il pluvia. It's raining. Il svk la riva demon. It is true that he arrives tomorrow. 
ill tends to be omitted whenever the contraction its can be used in English. Thus, ill may be omitted from the second sentence above, s ver k la riva demon. In addition, subject pronouns are sometimes omitted when they can be inferred from a previous sentence, illa audiva un crito, careva al porta, a periva lo. She heard a cry, ran to the door, opened it. Esperanto similarly, Esperanto sometimes exhibits pronoun delation in casual use. This delation is normally limited to subject pronouns, especially where the pronoun has been used just previously. Cu vi vidas lin. Veen is none. Question particle you see him. Comes now. Do you see him? He is coming now. In official use, however, Esperanto admits of null subject sentences in two cases only, in the second person imperative Banu, come, vi Banu, you, come, for impersonal verbs, which have no semantic subject. In English or French, an empty subject is nevertheless required. Pluvis, it is raining, fr pil planant. Estas nun summero. It is summer now. F R C L E acute T E acute present. Estas vir Kaili Alvinos Morgal. It is true that he will arrive tomorrow. F R C Vrike U U I L arrive era domain is the subject. Closing parenthesis. Dot. Contrary to the interlingua example above, and as in English, a repeated subject can normally be omitted only within a single sentence. I out is Crean. I curies al lapordo. I mal firmus gin. She heard a shout. She ran to the door. She opened it. I out is Crean. Curies al lapordo. I mal firmus gin. She heard a shout, ran to the door and opened it. Bibliography. P. Barbosa, Meldwate, and M. Cato. Null subjects in European and Brazilian Portuguese. Journal of Portuguese Linguistics. Opening parenthesis closing parenthesis. Dot. Cook, Manuela, A Theory for the Interpretation of Forms of Address in the Portuguese Language. Hispania, Volume 80, N3A80 SP, USA. Chomsky, N. Dot. Lectures on Government and Binding, The Pisa Lectures. Holland, Forest Publications, Reprint. 7th edition, Berlin and New York, Mouton de Greuter, 1993.